Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing an unboxing for a new box subscription that I just learned about and it is the Orglamix box subscription. Looks like this. So if you guys are curious to hear more about this company and see the unboxing, then just keep watching. Things that I had tried from Orglamix are their loose pigments. They came in little containers like this, black lid, clear, um, clear jar and on the bottom it gave you the name. I have, an, I have an entire review video of the loose pigments that I have tried from this brand up already. So go ahead and search for that if you guys are curious. Um, these are the two that I still have. I did kind of declutter some of my loose pigments recently, but these made the cut. They're beautiful. I really like the like iridescent kind of duochrome effect that their shadows have. But anyway, they recently launched an Orglamix box subscription. It says clean, eco, Cruelty free, vegan, and handcrafted. It says no bunny was harmed in the making of this box. So this is what the box looks like. I think it's really cute. Um, my address is on the bottom, so I'm not gonna show you the bottom, but you can see like each side has a different design. We've got gray, pink over here. We've got like feathers and triangles, really cute. So inside it looks like this, and they give you this little card, similar to what like BoxyCharm and Ipsy give you to tell you what is in the box. And this month is gemstone. It says diamonds are a girl's best friend and now so are a slew of other gemstones. Gemstones are going well beyond jewelry right now as beauty products are increasingly turning to materials like rose quartz and tourmaline to enhance skin care. Many of these minerals have skin care benefits but they're also designed to impact energy and mood. Good vibes inside and out, a total win-win. And it looks like we get one, two, three, four, five products inside the box and their information is on the back for how you can connect with them on social media. Snapchat, etc. All right, so let's dive right into the box. Comes with all of this kind of crinkled paper confetti, which I appreciate because my cats can actually play with this and it won't really hurt them since it's paper. All right, the first thing that I see in here is sunstone, an exfoliating neck and decollete scrub. It says, scoop between fingers and apply to wet skin and gently massage in a circular motion focusing on rough areas. Rinse thoroughly and pat dry. Okay, so it's a scrub for your neck and chest area, which is nice because I feel like that's an area that is often overlooked. It looks like this. It looks like straight up cinnamon. So I'll give that a try next time I am in the shower. This one says it retails for $9 on their site, so that's not bad. Next up, we have, ooh, what's this? A roller, a facial roller? A facial, a jade facial roller. My husband actually brought me back a jade necklace from China when he was on a missions trip over there, back when we were first dating, so that's really neat. Um, this jade facial roller retails for $21. It's an incredible tool for inner and outer beauty. Facial rolling is relaxing and de-stressing. De it's been a ritual since ancient times in China, dating all the way back to the seventh century. After cleansing and toning, smooth a few drops of facial oil onto the skin. This will help facial roller glide across the skin with ease. So I guess you're supposed to put some oils on your face and then roll them in. Ooh, it feels very, very, very cooling. I like that. Next up is none other than a facial oil. This is the Citrine Facial Oil. This one retails for $38. Oh, it's a glass jar. Um, Citrine is a blend of pure natural botanical oils, including orange blossom, rosehip, and neroli for deeply hydrated skin with a euphoric scent. Apply three to 10 drops to cleansed and toned skin, morning and night massage in for one to three minutes before applying makeup. Store out of direct sunlight, which is hard to do because I have a skylight right here. So this will have to go in my beauty closet. All right, let's give this one a try. I wanna see what it smells like. I definitely smell the orange though, that smells nice. Let's try putting some on my face without getting it on my pink wig. Yeah, it's completely broken, it won't pump anymore. All right, well I got one pump out of it before it broke, that's great. But it said to try this with a facial oil, so that's what I'm doing. I mean, this feels very cooling and very refreshing. And I don't know if more of the oil ended up on my roller or in my face. That's a little disappointing that after one pump, it refuses to pump anymore. Just 
not pumping. There we go, I think I fixed it. There, wow, you get a, like a lot in one squirt, so it's not necessarily the best packaging, I would say. Strong orange scent, it smells like an orange peel, so not like orange juice, it smells like orange peel. And I guess the little side maybe is for like the under eye area. Well, that feels good. All right, you guys aren't interested in seeing me roll my face for the next 10 minutes, so. All right, so after an initial packaging mishap, we figured it out. It does kind of burst out a lot of oils. I think I prefer like droppers for oil, but the scent is nice. The formula seems nice. It's already completely, um, it's already completely absorbed into the back of my hand and my cheek is already completely absorbed. And I suspect that this section will be absorbed by the end of the video. So, so far I'm liking these. Next up we have, ooh, we have one of their limited edition mineral shadows. So the old packaging looked like this and it looks like this is what their new packaging looks like. It's still 12.5 grams, but slightly smaller packaging, still black lid, clear bottle. But this is what the pigment looks like. This is the rose rose quartz. Ooh, that's pretty. So here's the color of the rose quartz eyeshadow that came in this box. Really pretty. It's got like a slightly purple undertone with a pale pink front color. So I'm seeing like blue purple in the viewfinder, but in the camera I see mostly like this bright pink color. So that's a really fun duochrome that I will play with later. The eyeshadow retails for $12.50. And finally, we have an apothecary bottle full of little stones, which I don't really know what this is for. This retails for $7. They said when they were in the planning stage for this beauty box, they knew they had to include some semi-precious jewels. Um, oh, these are blue adventurines, that's what it says. So this doesn't really have a purpose for me but the other ones I'm excited to try. So the next scrub will definitely be a plus because I don't usually focus on this area and I probably should. I turned 35 this month. <laughs> um, the facial oil seems nice. It seems like it's soaking in. I'll let you guys know if I end up having any weird reactions to that, if it breaks me out. The facial roller, I actually just purchased one on Amazon yesterday. I wish I had looked inside my box first before I did that, but it's very cooling, very refreshing. I feel like this will work really well for depuffing the under eye area um, just because it's cooling and it's smooth and it's jade. The shadow will definitely go in my collection. It's a beautiful like pinky blue duochrome and I'm excited to try most of these. So I will put the retail price of the box as well as how to sign up for this box down below in the description section. So definitely look there for more information on how to sign up and for the price. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Orglamix unboxing video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. By the way, it's a cheap wig from Wish.com. Wouldn't recommend it.